the new iteration of Android is now official and it is named as Android Oreo, which we already knew since the first developer preview. This new version has plenty of changes in its store and most probably you already knew most of them. But today, I am going to show you 7 lesser known hidden features of Android Oreo that will definitely improve your experience even further. Excited? So let's get started. So let's start with some useful ones. And Hi-Fi Bluetooth codec is the first on the list. Bluetooth has always been criticized for its lower audio quality when compared to a set of wired headphones. But nowadays, 3.5mm jack is becoming less standard as major smartphone manufacturers are getting rid of it and focusing more towards wireless audio. And that's enough to conclude that now we are living in a wireless world. At least, that's what OEMs are thinking before removing the headphone jack. Thankfully, Google has added a handful of high-quality Bluetooth codecs to Android Oreo which is hidden inside the developer's option. By using these codecs, you will definitely find significant improvements in audio quality. It supports codecs like Sony LDAC, SBC, AAC, aptX and aptX HD. Android Oreo focuses more towards notification management and that's why they added a new feature called Notification Channel. This feature lets you choose between less useful and more useful notifications for a specific app. For instance, this feature could be handy with filtering notifications from certain conversations in messaging apps. To access this, head over to the app notification and select the app for which you want to enable this. Now click on miscellaneous and here you will find lots of options regarding notifications. You can choose from options like no sound or visual interruption, show silently, make sound and pop up on screen and many more. With the Pixel, Google introduced the concept of rounded home screen icons and with Android Oreo, they took the concept even further by introducing adaptive icons. With this new feature in Android 8.0, developers can create a single unified app icon and the system will do the rest. When an app offers an adaptive icon, Android Oreo will automatically crop and align it according to the system settings. If you tap and hold the home screen, you will get this setting option and just click on that and here you will find an option called change icon shapes. Here you can choose from different shaped icons and it will create an overlay of that shape over your icons. The idea behind adaptive is a very innovative but I think it's not well implemented yet as it is still in its initial stage of development. The Aurofill API is introduced with Android O. Simply try to help apps manage password and form better data than in previous versions of Android. The Aurofill apps store and secure user data such as address, username and even passwords to assign Aurofill app. For instance, if you open an app like Twitter and you want to sign into your account, now this will automatically show you the suggestion of your username. Once selected, it will automatically fill the password and you are good to go. This feature will definitely save you from the hassle of repeatedly entering the same information on a touchscreen phone. As I mentioned earlier that Android O focuses more towards notification management. So here is another cool hidden feature that has been introduced in Android Oreo and by using this you can snooze the notifications. For instance, you got a WhatsApp message and you want to read that later on. Just swipe the notification to right and tap this clock icon to snooze the notification. This will make the message go away for 15 minutes then come right back when the time is up. You can also change the snooze length right after you snooze a notification. And this one is definitely one of my favorite features from Android Oreo as I receive lots of notifications throughout the day. The previous versions of Android were criticized by their user for not having its own inbuilt file manager. But in Android Nougat, we had a hidden file manager inside storage setting and that was very basic. But now in Android Oreo, you will see a dedicated icon for the file manager in the app drawer inside which the categories are more sorted now. Android's built-in file manager isn't the best on the market but it's nice to have a way to browse files without having to install an additional app. Last year, Android Nougat introduced picture-in-picture -picture mode which basically shrinks a playing video into a floating window. But at that time, this feature was only available for Android TVs but not anymore. Now with this new Android Oreo update, you can use this feature on your smartphones too. This is a special type of split-screen window that should be particularly useful for watching videos while performing other tasks. So apps will need to be updated to support the new API. So guys, these were 7 lesser known hidden features of Android Oreo. If you think we have missed any, then do let us know that in the comment section. And for more future videos like this, do subscribe to Extreme Droid and press the bell icon to get notified. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.